Hi there, in this video, I'm going to show you on how you can safely eject a USB flash drive on your Chromebook device. And this is actually good practice that is recommended to at least reduce the likelihood of files being corrupted on either the flash drive or maybe the Chromebook, especially when there is a transfer file in progress and you don't want to remove the device when the transfer process is still ongoing. So. In order to uh, safely eject a USB drive, you have to open the files app, go to launcher, click files, and here, right now, I actually don't have any flash drive attached to my Chromebook, so I'm going to attach one and I'm going to show you how you can eject a USB drive. Okay, now I'm just waiting. Okay, now I have this file, sorry, this USB drive connected to my Chromebook. And in order to safely eject the drive, you can right click and then click eject drive, sorry, eject device, or you can use the keyboard shortcut control shift and then E, or you can also just click on this icon that, that is next to the name of the drive and it will eject the device safely from your Chromebook and then you can unplug it. But the question is what would happen if you just plug and then unplug the device right away without using the Save ejection method. Well, here's what's going to happen. Right now, there is no transfer file going on, and also the drive is actually empty, so there is no risk of actually damaging the file within the USB drive. I'm going to unplug it, and you will see that there is this notification that, wow, be careful because uh, in the future, it recommends me to safely eject the USB drive, and it's going to stop or reduce the likelihood of data being corrupted uh, especially when there is a data trans transfer in progress so that's how you can do it but uh, if you are connecting a phone to your chromebook device especially an android phone usually you won't see the eject option available that's because the connection between chromebook and android are actually already being regulated so you can actually just unplug the connection with the android right away without having to use the eject method uh the save eject method anyway because it doesn't it wasn't available so for a usb drive you have to use the safe ejection method while for under an android phone you don't have to so that's it for today i hope you found this tutorial video to be helpful and i'll see you on the next video